and welcome, Songo here with another video! This time we are going to be discussing the PTR patch notes for Heroes of the Storm, which are proposed changes for the um, live servers. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about my favorite hero, Kel'Thas, and since there is just so much going on here, I will try and keep it to just the most important changes. So. Let's start off. Mana Addict. You know, the level 1 talent that grants mana uh, for each regeneration globe you gain? Well, now it also grants the ability to have an arcane barrier at 100% of your maximum mana value for 4 seconds. Now, this is a nerf from the live server. Arcane Barrier, in strictly in terms of the amount of shield, but, uh, well, it's packaged for free within Mana Addict, and Mana Addict is already one of the most picked talents. But that may just be because of Arcane Barrier. At 100% of maximum mana? Uh, well, it might not be that good anymore, and so, we'd have to see how this works out. It's very interesting. Fel er, Burnt Sphere got a, er, Spheres got a lot of changes. None were really significant, aside from the new talent at level 16, Twin Spheres which grants an additional charge of Verdant Spheres, which is awesome. You can now get off up to three additional Living Bombs, which can be pretty insane. Of course, we'll talk about that in a moment. Or you can get a... get... Ah, okay, we'll talk about it later. All of this. So, Flame Strike. Ah, uh, slightly reduced damage. But, uh, Convection, <laughs> Convection Currents now increases damage by 5 for each enemy hero hit up to 20. So, once you hit 20 heroes, you gain the maximum amount of damage. But you lose all bonus damage on death until you gain, you hit that maximum, which it, again is very easy and gain 50 bonus damage, and keep all bonuses permanent. This is a level 1 talent, if I remember correctly. Yep. Before, and on the live servers, it is a terrible, terrible talent. Well, not tr anyway. But, yeah, this has value. I don't know if it scales with Empowered by Vern Spheres. If it does, that would be pretty nice. It probably does not scale with level, though, as if it did, it would basically be doubling your Flame Strike damage. Which, I mean, Flame Strike already does a good bit of damage, though. Ah. So, yeah. But it could be interesting. Still. And the new talent, Burned Flesh, at level 7, hitting more than one enemy with a flame strike, or hero with a flame strike, causes each to take damage equal to 8% of their maximum health. I don't think uh, Chogal counts as two heroes for this, but it would be amazing if it did. <laughs> yeah. But this actually gives Skelethos a way of countering tanks, so that's pretty nice. I mean, it requires a lot more finesse than auto attack heroes, but it's still pretty nice. And now Living Bomb. This is really interesting. Explosion radius is increased by 10%. Yay! Explosions now spread Living Bombs to all nearby enemy heroes not already affected by it. 
that's really interesting. They removed all um, spreading to enemy minions because at that point it would be getting really ridiculous. But I kind of like that they are emphasizing Living Bomb as a means of zone control. I don't know if they've gotten um, a visual indicator for the exact radius, because if they did, that would improve both the enemy's counterplay and how much zone control you can have with Living Bomb. Because if it's just some guy glowing red with Living Bomb, it's sometimes easier to, you know, just miss, not miss it happening. So yeah. I, <clears throat> it's not indicated here that they've got a visual indicator, but maybe. <clears throat> uh, so. Vision Bomb now no longer increases Living Bomb damage, and the end total of the explosion radius, assuming this is multiplicative with this, is slightly higher, but, like, not much. So, backdraft. Okay. Uh, Sun King's Fury. No, that's not significant. Master of Flames. Living bombs can now spread indefinitely between enemy heroes. This implies that the original, only the original living bomb can spread to enemy heroes. It doesn't say that explicit, explicitly, but it seems to be the case, as indicated by this. Uh, considering there doesn't seem to be a defensive talent, that could be pretty nice if at low MMRs because of people not spreading out. But I'd have to see it in action. It's It seems alright. And Gravity Labs, now using Vernon Spheres to empower Gravity Labs, now also increases its stun duration by 50%. Uh, for you personally, this is not going to be a huge amount of bonus because you'd already have blown your entire load on them before your original stun came out. However, if you mix this with, um, how, what do you say, Fury of the Sunwell, which gives two uh, the uh, flame strikes, and with the decreased delay, I think it would allow you to get both of those flame strikes within a single stun, which can make um, twin spheres really. Oh wait, those are the same. No, it's not. What am I talking? About? Which can make twin spheres really strong, because. And then that's not even including the fact that this is a stun, which effectively allows your entire team to burst them down as well. And this is on top of the multi-target, effectively, stun. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. And new uh, Netherwind, a really highly picked up talent now no longer has its uh has its the speed of the gravity laps increased and gravity laps is kind of a slow projectile so yeah that could be a pretty significant nerf to be fair i think this is restoring about two times the mana you're using so I think Netherwind would still be the go-to talent, but 
This is interesting. And Gravity Crush. At last, we reach the end. Gravity Lapse causes enemies to take 25% additional damage from Kael'thas for 4 seconds. Remember what I was saying about the double flame strike? The Fury of the Sunwell? This basically guarantees that you're going to be one-shotting anything that you uh, catch in the in Gravity Lapse if you take Fury of the Sunwell, which uh, any squishy, not just anything, because tanks can probably survive it. So this is very interesting. And I like that there's a bit of balance between Living Bomb and Flame Strike in their apparent power now. However, due to them taking out the generic talents, there's only three talents at each talent tier, aside for 10 and 20. So, eh. Eh, whatever. It's nice. I. I'm actually really excited to play Kael'thas. As <laughs> so, have fun, and I'll be playing Kael'thas. Bye.